Durban Geothermal presents Mud Rotary Drilling. Mud Rotary Drilling is the most common method of installing ground source heat pump loops throughout the Midwest and pretty much anywhere where bedrock conditions are not present. The way it works is fairly simple. We're circulating the fluid through a hollow stem drill pipe, out a drill bit, and up the annulus of the bore hole, carrying all of the excavated cuttings and solids with it. The solids are deposited into a mud pan and then scooped out with a shovel and put into piles on site by workers. The downside of this system is that all of the fluid that's used to drill the hole and all of the solids that come out of the hole are typically left on site somewhere. This is usually the biggest part of the mess that a geothermal system creates. So many homeowners ask, why does it have to be such a mess? Where does all that water go? A lot of times you can pump the water away from the rig into, a, into an area that being wet or dirty isn't of major concern. But more often than not, these solids are left on site to dry and then to be mixed in with excavated materials during the headers. Well, we look at this and we wonder, is there a better way? Well, the answer is yes. We teamed up with Mud Technologies Incorporated and basically used scaled down oil field equipment to install these geothermal loops. Instead of a mud pan capturing all the cuttings, a capturing pump catches all the butt cuttings and carries them over to a solid separation device. This is made up of uh, desanders, desilters, and a shale shaker that basically clean the fluid and take all of the solids out of it. The solids can either be deposited behind this machine in a pile, or if you're in a residential application or a place where you simply can't make a mess on the ground, they can be deposited into a waiting bucket of a uh, skid steer or a backhoe or something of that nature, and then loaded onto a dump truck and hauled off site to be disposed of. Now it doesn't take all of the uh, physical work out of this, it's drilling and there's still some shovel work involved, but as far as solids and mud on the ground, it really makes a big difference in keeping the sites clean. Here the guys are working at a home in Shelbyville, Illinois. We were able to drill nine holes on this site on a single tank capacity of 2,500 gallons of fluid without putting any mud or any excavated materials on the ground. We've also used this in several smaller commercial applications. Here you see a bank in Charleston, Illinois. The first loop is in the ground and nothing else. The bank was able to stay open during this application because there simply wasn't a mess.